So Floyd Mayweather has a daughter. That's right. Floyd Mayweather. I, I, I think I knew he already had a daughter, though. That's not the surprising part. But Floyd Mayweather has a daughter. That's right. Floyd Mayweather. 50 and old. Floyd Mayweather. Daughter. That does not know how to fight. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so. Yeah. So, apparently, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, Yaya Mayweather, Ayana Mayweather, might be getting charged for attempted murder. Okay, we're gonna go through this slow. So a lot of the videos I talk really quick, but I'm gonna talk a lot slower here for multiple different reasons. All right. Um, one of the main reasons is this is the first time I'm gonna actually be covering Yaya, and there's gonna be a lot to come. So uh, I gotta get more informed on what's going on with her and NBA Young Boy. But I want to give a little bit of backstory real quick for everybody who don't know about this stuff. Like I had not really cared about this stuff. Yaya Mayweather and NBA Young Boys uh, baby mama, I believe they have been arguing and bickering with him for, over him for a while. I know that Yaya Mayweather has been, um, you know, fighting off of females for his affection for quite some time. Um, so I want to say something real quick for all the young ladies out there that want to marry a rapper. This is the easiest way for me to explain this to y'all. If your man is a rapper. And he out there sleeping with other women. Just try to make sure that he keeps it to a small number. Because rappers is going to be out there doing what rappers is going to be doing. Now with that being said, not all rappers is out there sleeping around. Not all rappers is doing that. But if your man is the type of dude that can't turn down any cooch. Yeah. Basically. Alright, so let's get to the story. Um, And being able to turn down uh, sex from a... Uh, a female was a character trait just so we could be clear on that that's a character trait it has nothing to do with how much a man might love you and nothing to do with how much a woman might love you know whoever they're with that's a character trait a person who's trying to do sneaky shit cheating that shit's a character trait just so we could be clear on this so anyway going into a story so apparently what happened was uh yaya mayweather ayana mayweather she ended up stabbing uh NBA young boys, baby mama. Um, the young girl's last name is Jacobs. Um, it was a situation that happened where the baby mama was at, uh, Miss Jacobs was at NBA young boys home, I believe in, um, Houston or at wherever they was at hotel. I don't know. They was just at a place. Yaya shows up. She says that the girl got to leave. Uh, argument ensues. The girl says, no, you got to leave. Um, and then, Everything that happened after that is kind of up for question. Um, it's being also said that what happened was, this is coming from Yaya's side, I'm going to assume, that Jacob's uh, NBA's baby mama grabbed her hair and then ran inside. And then after she ran inside, apparently they're trying to say she ran into the kitchen. When she ran into the kitchen, I don't know... This is where everything gets murky. We got to find out more about what's going on. But basically, the way that they're saying it is, they're saying Yaya just grabbed two knives. And then after Yaya grabbed the two knives and they was arguing, the young lady Jacobs then stepped closer. Now, real quick, um, I'm one of those people that I don't really want to question some, whether somebody is going to do something. Like, if you pull a gun on me, I'm not going to be like, you ain't going to shoot shit. I'm not doing that. I'm going to be like, you know what? I believe you. If um, we're in a situation and you pull a knife on me, I don't know what I'm going to do with knife. I'm way more ready to probably fight if it's a knife. <laughs> but if it's a knife, you can run away. If it's a gun, you got to close distance. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. So um, she pulled the knives on her. And then they're saying that Jacob steps closer. And then that's when the stabbing happened. Now, uh, before I get to the rest of the story, I do want to point something out. Um, 
if you're a boxer and you have daughters, and this is, I'm not trying to throw no shots at, at Floyd Mayweather. He's literally one of my favorite boxers of all time. Um, facts. Like, literally one of my favorite boxers of all time. Just general, period. I think he's one of the greatest ever. I mean, the only reason why we say Ali is the greatest is because he gave himself that damn moniker. And because of a lot of the things that he did outside of boxing. In conjunction with some of the things that he did inside of boxing. Ali was just great as a human being. But as far as skill set goes and ability to dominate his specific weight um, class that he fought in. Mayweather is is uh, I don't think there's anybody that you could actually compare to him You can complain about his style of fighting but you can't compare So the point in which I'm trying to make is how do your daughter not know how to fight His daughter should not have had even the thought of picking up knives I get it though um, All of Michael Jordan's sons is shitty at basketball None of them could make it to the NBA I get it um, Patrick Ewing, I don't think his son, his son did well in the NBA either. I get it. Sometimes skills in, in, in training doesn't pass down, but your daughter can't be grabbing knives and you Mayweather. Let's keep it moving. Anyway, um, um, it said that Jacob said that the first stab wound, she didn't even feel it. And then she didn't know she was getting stabbed until about the second time around. I know a lot of people that's been stabbed. And you hear that. You didn't even know you were stabbed. Like, you don't know how a stabbing feels until you get stabbed, by the way. Like... Until you actually get stabbed, you don't know how it feels to be stabbed. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, so um, it goes on to say that the uh, police and everybody was called. Yaya's currently in jail. I don't think they're going to give her any bond because obviously if they gave her bond, she would be able to make it. It's not like Floyd can't make it. Um, They might give a bond. Who knows? Um, I do want y'all to put down in the comment section, though, like, should she know how to fight? Just just. Curious thinking. And um, also, I think all of y'all young ladies should stay away from NBA young boy because it seems like violence follows him. So, you know, he's extremely skilled and talented rapper and, and y'all ladies love him. And I don't see no reason why not, I guess. I mean, I don't know nothing about that shit. I'm in the women. But um, and I'm not trying to take nothing away from anything that he's done professionally at all. Because, you know, you got other rappers out here raping chicks. He doesn't have that problem. But um. Right now, Yaya Mayweather might get charged with attempted murder. We got to see what happens. Um, pray for uh, Jacobs. Um, I guess uh, pray pray for um, Yaya also for her her sanity. You know, uh, I, I can't imagine how out of it emotionally hurt a person is gonna would have to be to you know stab another individual. You know, and it wasn't over money. It was over emotions. You know, anyway, let me know what y'all guys think. Leave it down in the comment section. I feel bad for this whole situation. Um, I'll, I'll keep y'all apprised of what's going on. And um, NBA young boy, man. Don't he got herpes? Wasn't it like a big thing? So is that like not a thing nowadays? Like people don't care if anybody, like not for nothing for everybody that don't know, like this is a fact though most people actually do have herpes <laughs> i'm laughing and shit but like like that's a really prevalent disease like it's so prevalent nowadays that when you have it the doctor don't even care so it's a, at least that's what i've heard but it's a really prevalent disease like it's everywhere like i know doctors and people who work in the hospitals believe me this shit is everywhere but do we care because you know this guy has it and he's you know got Yaya Mayweather stabbing people up for him. She, she and, and 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 just so we could point something out, she never had the work, never had the need, nothing ever in her life. Anything she ever needed or wanted can get can be attained. And she chased after NBA young boy. Think about that for a minute. Just think about that. She chased after a dude with herpes that got a million different girlfriends that's making chicks spend the night in the lobby. And she can have anything in the world. Love is not rational. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. 
all comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?